One of the topics I'm frequently asked to address is, uh, where is the hill Cumorah? Is it the same hill in upstate New York where Joseph found the place? And this is the information about those questions. In the sixth chapter of Mormon, Mormon himself refers to the hill where he uh, is putting the plates at that time as Cumorah. That was around 399 AD. So he deposited the plates there, and then later he retrieved them from the hill Cumorah this is in 399, wrote to his son and told him he had to come get the plates. So his son came and got the plates, and uh, my best information is that he and his son met up north of the Grand Canyon. And then Moroni got the plates from his father. He carried them all the way to the places where he uh, visited and was chased, which was southern Utah, northern Utah, and then over toward the east coast. And then he buried the plates in the uh, upstate New York where Joseph Smith found them. But they were originally buried by his, by uh, Mormon, Moroni's father in 399. They were buried by Moroni in upstate New York in 421. Mor Moroni, after burying the plates, uh, I don't know the time period, but he says when he starts his own book that he had expected to be killed, but had not been killed, so he had decided to write a little more. So he obviously returned to the place where he had deposited the plates, dug them up, and then added his book, which is essentially on the last, back of the last plate of the book of the plates, and then reburied them in upstate New York where Joseph Smith found them. So that hill where they were found was never called Camorra by Mormon, nor Moroni, nor did Joseph Smith ever call it the hill Camorra. He referred to it as the hill in upstate New York. The first account we can discover of someone referring to that as the Hill Cumorah was Oliver Cowdery. This was after the death of the Prophet Joseph, and for some reason Oliver thought that that was the Hill Cumorah, but Joseph never called it that.